Hey there, Boots Owen here. I posted a video previously of this Honda EX1000 suitcase portable generator. Portable suitcase generator. I got it started. It basically needed me to put fuel in it, even though when I got it, I think I paid 10 or 20 quid for it. When I got it, I was told it wasn't working. It seems to work. Powered my jigsaw in the previous video, but now I want to give it a more prolonged test, I guess I would say. So I'm going to put an 800 watt oil heater on it, uh, an oil filled radiator. It's rated at 750 volt amps, maximum 900 at 50 cycles per second. So I think it'll be okay. Let's see if it starts. Turn it on. I think the choke is on now. It's missing its air filter, the correct one. So you can hear it gently drumming away outside and put this down low. This will only have an on off function anyways, it'll just be setting with the thermostat. So put the thermostat so that it's on. Now you can hear the generator immediately. Oh, it doesn't like that. Let's go out and have a look at it. No, it must be too much load on it. Let's turn that off. Didn't like that. Right. 800 might be too much of a resistive load. So I wasn't expecting that. Let's, uh, I presume it just put so much load onto the alternator that it choked it, I guess. Choke's the wrong word. So let's see. Neither circuit breaker has popped. It's plugged in still, but it's not, um, it's not switched on. See if it makes any difference. It's doing something. Let's try turning it off and running it, pulling it through a couple of times. So let's switch it back on again. Right, let's turn that choke off again. So it now just sounds like it's backfiring. Nothing to see, really. Making weird popping noises. I'll give it a half choke, see if that makes any odds. I don't think it should need a choke really, but
Like really a circuit breaker should have gone before anything else. Sounds like it's backfiring through the carburetor, as like I said. Okay, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and come back to it. Okay, I've had a cup of coffee, time has moved on. This is still switched on. Let's see, I wish the recoil was better on it. sausage try to choke the other way it was coughing and spluttering before now it's not even coughing oh there was a pop there that's something let's turn off that choke again that's off Just try tickling the fuel there, and there's definitely fuel in it. Didn't run for very long. Do I know what? Two minutes. I with my finger on the throttle. Don't know. Maybe the blacksmith was right. Maybe it doesn't work. So I was quite pleased with it, and then the tables turn. The string's quite worn here, I wouldn't be surprised if it snaps on me. Let's not be negative. a choke on. Let's try that again. Could be another 50 pulls before it starts again. It's coughing and spluttering now. Half choke. Very tricky. I would say that's a fuel issue, if anything. Oh, that's a 
good old sneeze out the exhaust there. So I believe now that I have it on the other setting, the choke to the, not the choke. Ready? Listen. Might have been on the choke before. Let's go out and look at it. It's definitely laboring. Walk back inside and this is still on. Is it getting warm? There's a bit of heat in the bottom of it. I'll give it a minute and see if it can handle it. I'll come back, see how we go. Right, so it's been on for about five minutes now. That's coming up to temperature. Let's turn it. Now the generator goes on a bit more. The thermostat's kicked in. And off again. It's clicking on again. Okay, so let's go out and let's turn it off here. And turn off the generator. I'm happy that it works at some level. smelly thing you know I don't really want to run it forever oh it's quite it's quite stinky you know what would it be 1990s maybe I don't think it's this millennium it could be 30 years old it seems to do the trick though I wouldn't mind getting the correct air filter for it but equally I wouldn't like to spend any money on this so there's a bit of a limbo there between one and another. It seems to work okay. It's uh, it's warming up there. Right. So there seems to be an issue starting it. Sometimes I guess maybe it was flooded. You know, it could have been flooded. Keeping going at it doesn't really help. But this seems to be the choke in the off position. This seems to be the choke in the on position. And I think that somebody has written off here with an arrow pointing this way to the right which is the opposite but I think the old air filter cover would have had a little lever that um, pivots about a point in front so if it's to the right it would be off and then if you slide it this way it pushes this one this way and that's the difference I think but I don't know 
should really get some compressed air and blow off that carb but equally that dirt isn't doesn't seem to be affecting it so i might just leave it now you'll notice or you have noticed that the lights didn't come on and this indicator thing didn't do anything that green light didn't come on i i guess could get the manual and have a look at it for myself but it does it works you know what i'm thinking the reason i'm keep keeping this is in the event of a power cut what would be handy is if you could run the fridge for a while and if you could run the central heating boiler we have a gas combi boiler it needs mains electric to work it won't work at all without it now i could also use a battery and an inverter which i have so i've got a couple of backups there the reality is that in the last nine years the power's gone out three times and it just wasn't an issue but you know resilience and whatnot off-grid living if you want to call it that self-reliance any of these things right what do you think if you have any, any experience of these things i'd be glad to know questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later